Want to speak real English from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at EnglishClass101.com. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Top Words. My name is Alicia, and today we're going to talk about 10 phrasal verbs for eating and drinking. So let's get started. Drink up. The first phrasal verb is drink up. Drink up. Drink up is a happy, is a cheerful phrase we use that means let's start drinking or let's enjoy drinking or please drink. So you can use it when everybody gets their drinks. Uh, you can say, all right, our beers are here. Let's drink up. It means it has the nuance of drink a lot. Like you can also use it like as a challenge to someone, like someone who loses a bet or loses like a, an argument. You can say drink up as kind of a challenge. It's sort of like a friendly command for drink. So in a sentence, our beers are here. Everybody drink up. Take down. The next phrasal verb is take down, take down, as in take down and order. Take down is a phrasal verb that the staff, like waiter or waitress, will use at the restaurant. They may come to your table and say, can I take down your order? They may also say, can I take your order, of course, but to take down is like to take your order and write it down on a notepad, for example, on a notebook. So take down your order. You might hear this. So in a sentence, when you're ready, I can take down your order. Ring up. The next word is ring up. Ring up. We use ring up to mean total, to total something, uh, to total a bill, to total the amount of something at a restaurant or shopping too, for example. Um, so again, this is a word that uh, wait staff, the staff at the restaurant may use. So when you finish your meal, uh, they will ring up your bill. They will ring up your total and you will pay that amount at the end of your meal. So in a sentence, I'll ring up your bill at the cash register. Set down. The next phrasal verb is set down, set down. So we use set down for items which we are carrying and then we set or we place on a table. So usually there's like a downward motion. If you're carrying something, like you can use it for a backpack if you want to, like to set down, to, to drop something, to leave something, but to put it in, like on a table, to put it in a place specifically there. So uh, we can use set down at a restaurant, like please set the plate down on the table, or uh, can you set down my drink over there, or I'll set down your order over here. So set down means to place something, uh, something you were carrying, to place it uh, on a table or to place it on a desk. So set down. In a sentence, please set down the plates carefully. Cut up. The next phrasal verb is cut up, cut up. We use cut up to mean cut, but cut up usually means to cut all of something. So if you receive like, um, I don't know, chicken or beef or pork or some large item you need to cut, uh, we say cut up to mean cut the entire piece, to cut everything you receive. Uh, so in a sentence, make sure to cut up steak into small pieces, for example. It's easier for children to eat. Or I take a long time to cut up my meat, for example. So cut up means cut everything. Cut into. The next phrasal verb is cut into. So to cut into means just to make one slice into something. Usually we use cut into for like the first slice. Like we use it maybe to check that a something is properly cooked sometimes. So like to cut into a chicken or to cut into turkey. Uh, we usually use this for the first slice. So the first experience, like uh, when I cut into the chicken, all the juices came out. It looked delicious. I'm excited to cut into my Thanksgiving turkey this year. Or um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to cutting into that steak later. It looked great. So cut into is kind of that uh, first cut, that initial cut where you can see maybe what the what the meat looks like or you get you get a sense of how the rest of your meal is going to taste. So cut into the first slice. I want to cut into my dinner later. Sop up. The next phrasal verb is sop up, sop up. So to sop means to soak with liquid, to soak with liquid. To sop up, therefore, is like to, to, soak, to soak liquid from like a bowl or from a cup or something. But we use this with bread usually. So uh, if you're eating soup, for example, and there is leftover soup in your bowl, 
You can take bread and sop up, soak up the liquid from your soup with bread. So to sop up liquid, so to soak and pick up something is the image here. So to sop up bread. So for example, I like to sop up my soup with bread, or I like to sop up extra sauce with a biscuit, for example. So usually there's some bread and some sauce or liquid we use with this phrase. Cool down. The next phrasal verb is cool down. Cool down means to let something、uh, become lower temperature naturally.、Uh, so to let something cool down really means to allow something to gradually go to a lower temperature. If you make a pie, for example, it's very hot when it comes out of the oven. So oftentimes the recipe will say. Allow to cool down and serve, for example. So, meaning after the pie is taken from the oven, you should let the temperature cool. You should let the temperature come down before eating. So, to cool down is like reducing the temperature, but just naturally over time. So, in a sentence, make sure to let your mashed potatoes cool down before you try to eat them. Heat up. So the next phrasal verb is heat up. Heat up. We use heat up usually to talk about microwave use or oven use. So it's taking a cold food or maybe a frozen food, usually just a cold food kept in the refrigerator, put it in the microwave, and turn it on to heat the food to make it warm again. So to heat up is like to Move the heat level up to increase the temperature of the food. We use the phrasal verb heat up to do this. So, for example, I like to heat up my pizza、uh, before I eat it, my leftover pizza. Or you should heat up、uh, yesterday's soup. It would be really good to have that tonight. Or maybe we should heat up、uh, something quick for dinner tonight. So, heat up means to increase the temperature of a cold thing. Chow down. So the next phrasal verb is sort of a slang expression. It's chow down. Chow down means like to eat really excitedly. It's、uh, it's not a phrasal verb I personally use very much, but、um, you can use it to express your enthusiasm for something. So、um, it's typically used for like、uh, sort of junk food type things or like really really、um, everyday foods. Like in in the USA, it's like. Sandwiches or hot dogs or、uh, like something you might get at like a sporting event. We'll say like I want to chow down on a sandwich later, or I want to chow down on some pizza after this. So to chow down is like enthusiastically eat. Like you're not thinking about being polite. You're not worried about looking nice while you eat. You're just enjoying eating very enthusiastically. So like oh let's chow down on some pizza later, for example. So, or for example, like we're gonna chow down on some barbecue this weekend. It'll be great. So, those are ten phrasal verbs for eating and drinking. I hope that those are useful for you as you visit restaurants and, of course, eat and drink.、Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please make sure to let us know in the comment section below this video. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already.、Uh, check us out at EnglishClass101.com for other good stuff too. Thanks very much for watching this episode of Top Words, and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Or, for example, we're gonna chow down on some BBQ this this weekend. Oh, that I messed it up. Okay, one more time. Usually, just a cold food kept in the refrigerator, placing it in the microphone microphone <laughs> microwave. <laughs> My microphone. That's funny. I'll try that again.